Good morning and welcome to St. Mary's Daily Prayer. My name is Eileen Charbonneau and I will be your prayer leader for this morning. Today is July 29th, Friday of the 17th week in Ordinary Time and the memorial of Saints Martha, Mary, and Lazarus of Bethany. Our readings today are taken from the prophet Jeremiah and the Gospel of John. Let us begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praised be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. Blessed be God forever. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, whose Son was pleased to be welcomed in St. Martha's house as a guest, grant, we pray, that through her intercession, serving Christ faithfully in our brothers and sisters, we may merit to be received by you in the halls of heaven, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. In the beginning of the reign of Jehoiakim, son of Josiah, king of Judah, this message came from the Lord. Thus says the Lord, Stand in the court of the house of the Lord and speak to the people of all the cities of Judah who come to worship in the house of the Lord. Whatever I command you, tell them and omit nothing. Perhaps they will listen and turn back, each from his evil way so that I may repent of the evil I have planned to inflict on them for their evil deeds. Say to them, thus says the Lord, if you disobey me, not living according to the law I placed before you and not listening to the words of my servants, the prophets, whom I send you constantly, though you do not obey them, I will treat this house like Shiloh and make this city to which the nations of the earth shall refer when cursing another. Now the priests, the prophets, and all the people heard Jeremiah speak these words in the house of the Lord. Jeremiah finished speaking all that the Lord bade him speak to all the people. The priests and prophets laid hold of him, crying, You must be put to death. Why do you prophesy in the name of the Lord, This house shall be like Shiloh, and this city shall be desolate and deserted? And all the people gathered about Jeremiah in the house of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today's response to the psalm is, Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Those outnumber the hairs of my head who hate me without cause. Too many for my strength are they who wrongfully are my enemies. Must I restore what I did not steal? Lord, in your great love, answer me. Since for your sake I bear insult and shame covers my face, I have become an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my mother's sons, because zeal for your house consumes me and the insults of those who blaspheme you fall upon me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. But I pray to you, O Lord, for the time of your favor, O God. In your great kindness, answer me with your constant help. Lord, in your great love, answer me. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to comfort them about their brother Lazarus, who had died. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him, but Mary sat at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now, I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise. Martha said to him, I know he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And anyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord, I have come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Now let us take a few moments for silent reflection on these readings.
Let us now bring our cares and concerns to our Heavenly Father. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For our call to stewardship, that we may use our gifts to benefit those who need our help, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace and healing in Ukraine, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to all violence and hatred, and for peace to reign throughout the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who need physical or spiritual healing, that God's gracious spirit will give their bodies and minds comfort and wholeness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, that they may be brought into the eternal peace of God's presence through Jesus, who is the resurrection and the life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now as our Savior taught us, let us pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, grace us with, fr with friendship in Christ through one another by the power of the Holy Spirit working in us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Go in peace. Thank you for joining me in prayer this morning. May God bless you today and always, and may God's peace always be with you.